Hello, welcome to Cheeky Richo Cooking's Smoked Haddock Pie cooked in the Kmart Family Pie Maker. Now, I know a few of you out there have got the Family Pie Maker and mostly I've been concentrating on the smaller pies because I've only just got the Pie Maker recently. So the ingredients are very, very simple. It's a really budget-friendly meal to make and I'm going to just show you how incredibly simple it is. It's basically a white sauce or a bechamel sauce with the smoked haddock flaked through it, but it needs to be cooked first. We've got two sheets of puff pastry here. I'll just put that to one side and our smoked haddock has got skin on it which I'm not going to leave on when we're cooking. This will make a meal for two to four people depends on how your appetites are and we're just going to bring this to the boil pop our fish in I've cut the fillet into two and just basically just bring it to the boil because it is going to be cooking in the sauce and then in the pie but I just need to take that extra rawness off it now just while that's coming to the boil I'm just going to chop our parsley and I'm just using spring onions here you could use peas carrots you could sneak a lot so little pieces of potato eggplant anything you like into this dish to sort of trick the kids but we don't have to do that because we're serving it with vegetables and I'm not using a whole onion I'm using the spring onions for the simple reason I have gazoodles of them and they give it a nice sweet flavor okay we'll just turn our hot plate down now we just have a just little bit of a simmer there nothing too serious put our parsley in there cut up our spring onions I want to use whole spring onions because normally I keep them and I cut the hairy ends off them and put them in my herb garden and they continue to grow it's sort of like a, <laughs> a gift that keeps giving you don't have to mince this up too much just and put to one side. Okay, a fish can actually come out now. And what we're going to do is peel the skin off the bottom of it and make sure there's no bones in it. And I'm going to discard that water and just use the same pan. I'm not going to wash the pan. There's no need to do that. That's a little bit thick of that, that piece there. I'll just give it a few more seconds. I need this to cool enough for me to be able to pull it apart with a fork and make sure there's absolutely no bones in it. Turn that off. Now I know what you're thinking, tipping that water out is a bit sacrilegious, you're getting rid of the, the fish stock, but in the past I found it can be really quite salty and interfere with the dish. So we turn our pan back on, just to a low heat, we want to melt that butter and sweat off our little spring onions with some vegetable salt, some freshly cracked pepper, as much or as little as you like. We're just going to use our pie cutter, the small diameter is the top, the larger diameter is the bottom. So we'll cut out our pie pastry sheets now. Okay. Our top. We'll cut out our bottom now. And don't mix these up because the larger circle goes on the bottom. Now you can't cut this when it's frozen solid and leaving it out for a few minutes does soften it enough. It just depends on where you live. It might soften it a bit much. You can just pop it back in the fridge for a few seconds but I need this to fold inside the pie maker. So just stir our little onions here. We are now going to sprinkle. The aroma coming off that is really quite delicious. We're going to sprinkle in our flour, put it back a bit and make a roux. You think it's not gonna work, but it actually does. Now what you're doing now is just cooking off that raw flavor of the flour. And then we're going to add our milk and some medium low heat and make it into a, a thick sauce. The flour will thicken, the milk is full cream milk. You can use a combination of cream here if you like too with your milk. Okay, that's looking pretty good. If you don't have a pie maker or you have some of this mixture left over or you've been making it, say, in a smaller pie maker, no problem. Just put this into a heat-proof bowl, a little Pyrex dish or casserole dish. Then get some puff pastry and just put it over the top of it and you've got like a fish pot pie. Alrighty, turn that off. I'm just going to sprinkle our parsley in there now. I'll stir that in a second and put this to one side. Bring over our pie maker. Lift up the lid, put our large section of pie in there. It's not turned on at this stage, just form it in there. The little noise that you hear is the fan on my induction cooktop. And what it does, it just runs for a few seconds after it's actually switched off to protect it, I suppose. Okay, now, stick that to one side. I'm actually gonna turn that on now, and that can be sort of, sort of getting a little bit cooked on the bottom. And I'm just going to be flaking this and pulling any bones out of this with a fork and popping it straight into my sauce. You sort of protect the bench. Yeah, so fish, don't make the flakes too small because it'll just look like tin fish if you do that. There's nothing wrong with this skin. It just doesn't look so good in the pie. 
comes off very very easily now make sure we've got no bones in here the best way you can do this is with your fingers especially if you're feeding children I'm not fairly fortunate with this lot now you can use prawns mussels clams anything that you like in this recipe but we're using smoked haddock because that's what they had on sale at the shop the other day and it's got a gorgeous flavor beautiful with a poached egg and some butter for breakfast if you're into that sort of thing you can see our pastry starting to go a bit translucent in the bottom because we're going to be putting hot filling in there so we don't want the bottom to get soggy already now just stir that around without smashing it up too much and then we're going to just pop it straight into our pie see I told you how simple this was look at that now if you want to you can put a little bit of cheese on the top of that in fact I'm going to do that because it makes it really nice okay our fish base is cooking quite a bit and we're just going to ladle in our filling sprinkle it with a little bit of the cheese just grated cheese any cheese that you like if you've got a smoked cheese that would be even nicer like a smoked edam or something sprinkle that all around there okay now we get our top and put it on it'll crimp nicely when the lid goes down and i just made a little fish put it on the top there and then just close the lid and we're just going to cook that until the top is actually nice and brown because the bottom's already cooked serving that with some mashed vegetables and some snow peas okay we've got this cute little fish platter we're just going to fetch our fish pie out it's perfectly cooked as you can see we're going to have to get underneath it to lift it out and there you have it, Cheeky Richard Cookings, smoked haddock fish pie cooked in the Kmart family pie maker. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you would like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richard cooking channel. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos. And thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Okay, we're just going to let that sit for a little minute before we cut it with a serrated knife. And I've got a baby fish plate to serve it up on. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like inside. Now you don't have to put the cheese in there, but I think you'll find it's a little welcome addition. Look at that. Chiggy Richos smoked haddock fish pie in the Kmart family pie maker. Thanks for watching. You've got great big pieces of fish in there, the creamy cheesy sauce and the herbs. Mm, that is so cheap to make, so delicious and really easy to make too. Thanks for watching.